I think I can make this. Hello, so it's a beautiful day in Cape Town today and it is going into winter so I have to actually make use of these days but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna build something really f cool. I found this outdoor scene on Pinterest and I really really felt inspired by it so I'm going to try and recreate it to see how realistic I can make this thing in Unreal Engine. I've seen some people do some crazy stuff so I'm gonna try and do the same. Well that's the idea at least I saw a bunch of really cool assets that can work with this scene so let's see. Back in the day I messed around in 3D Studio Max quite a bit. I was staying back in some renovated garage also here in Cape Town and uh, I remember recreating that interior and I was feeling a little bit nostalgic so I thought maybe let's do the same with Unreal Engine but this time I'm doing an outdoor scene. I really want to see how far I can push this realism. It's going to be very difficult to recreate the foliage exactly as it is but I'm going to try nonetheless. So let's get to it. Okay so my plan of attack is the following. I'm going to take this reference and somehow put it into Unreal Engine, probably create a material, assign it against the plane and then match the camera up so that it fits the entire camera. So now what this is going to entail is I'm going to have to match the position of the camera in Unreal Engine as it was in real life when it took the photo. So that's going to be quite interesting. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, so now I have my perspectives set up correctly. And the reason I know that it's set up correctly is I was able to play some very basic shapes inside this world and then it easily matched the perspective of what it was in the image. The idea here is that we need to be able to build this world flat without having to rotate any of the objects and then have it conform to this world or in this forest pathway scene in the image. And so far it's looking really good. I did give my cubes this red color so it's easy to distinguish. If the perspective isn't 100% correct, it's also not the end of the world, you are still going to get a very accurate result. Now the fun part starts. I can start pulling in some free assets. So I think I'm just about there and it's looking so cool. Far better than I thought it was going to look because foliage is a bit of a pain in the ass to be quite honest with you. That being said, I used quite a variety of foliage just to make it seem a little bit more real. In nature, there's always different types of plants and that's what I saw in this image and that's what I tried to recreate as well. I'm also really excited to see how the palms are looking. They're almost exactly like the ones in the reference image. Only thing that I couldn't do is obviously get every single leaf in place because that would be virtually impossible. But as far as realism goes, it's looking top notch. I also created this wood structure on the left. It was really nothing fancy. I just used some box brush brushes, blocked it out, assigned a wood material, made sure that the UV rotation was correct, and uh, that was really it. Let's move along. Okay, so I've created a sequence. I've used the camera that I've locked in my scene, which matches the reference photo. And I then set up two different renders, one using the deferred renderer, which is the offline renderer, and then one using the path tracer, which is new in Unreal Engine 5, and it's really exciting. You can see my render settings for my deferred renderer right here. I'll give you a moment to grab a screenshot, and then for the path tracer right here as well. So, after a render, surprise, surprise, the path tracer came out on top. And the reason the path tracer just looks better in this scene is just that subsurface scattering that you get on the leaves. 
it really highlights the way that sun would naturally highlight a piece of foliage and it's just so realistic if you do know how to achieve this kind of effect using a deferred renderer please comment below because that would mean that i can get the same result in game as well i've tried tweaking settings before i just couldn't get it as good as the path tracer does it and maybe that's just the sad truth maybe we're just not there yet which is also okay because unreal made huge strides in the last couple of years all in all i'm really happy with the scene but you didn't think we're gonna stop there no 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 we're going to go even further <laughs>Currently, the scene feels like it's lacking some centerpiece. And I'm not quite sure what that was, but what I ended up doing was I got a free asset of a little palace, or it's actually quite a big palace, that I put right in the middle where the stairs walk up to, so that we've got this beautiful centerpiece that we will end up focusing in. I then created another sequence with the camera just slowly moving up the steps as if it's almost someone walking up. I also added a subtle camera shake to mimic that handheld feeling, and then at the very end, I wanted to pan this camera up to reveal this beautiful structure. I also ended up adding some crows. These things are all in some free packs that I got over the years. Unreal Engine gives free stuff away every month, so just keep an eye. And I animated these crows to fly. It was so simple. They come with animations, and it's as simple as dragging them into the sequence, of positioning them, adding their animations to the animation track, and there you go. I created a new path tracer render pipeline. The settings are exactly the same as I had it before, but I just changed the resolution, and I upped the anti-aliasing samples a little bit. So after a couple of hours, I finally had my render done and this is what I was able to achieve and I'm absolutely blown away. I am so excited about it. And you can create this too with free assets. You don't have to do exactly what I did, find your own scene. Just allow yourself to be creative. Remember, work from references because if you get stuck, you can always go back to something. It's very important. That's where I made my mistake in the beginning. I was so eager to create these fantastic worlds but I didn't actually know how environments sit together so working from references is extremely important and I think that's it for this video as always happy game development until next time <laughs>